One prominent Louisville resident called it the biggest thing to happen to Louisville since George Rogers Clark. Now that could be overstating the importance of the new $60 million Humana corporate headquarters, but from the oohs and ahs of the huge crowd at today's public dedication, it's obvious Humana has hit the heart of Louisville. And that's exactly what the Kentucky natives who founded Humana intended to do. We decided that we wanted to build a building in a thoughtful way to try to make it an example of what could be accomplished here so that those who build the next buildings here in Louisville will build and try to build even better than the one that we've built. If we're going to build one, we're going to build a great building. I think that's exactly what we did. I'll leave it to you as a jury as you see it for the first time, many of you today. In what has become a Humana tradition, the dedication was also splash with class. The Louisville Youth Orchestra performed during the ceremony. And Michael Graves, the New Jersey architect who gave birth to the building, was the star of the show. You may think it's world class, but I have a feeling we're standing in the center of the universe. Graves, along with Jones and Cherry, dramatically unveiled the three-foot-high gold-leaf letters over the door of the entrance. As the crowd poured in, many stopped to admire what might be the most impressive part of the building. The architects called these fountains a gesture to the nearby Ohio River, but many of the sightseers just called them neat. Inside the lobby, they gazed approvingly at the white, green, and beige marble from Italy and the black marble imported from France. The entrance, where the water fountains are, beautiful. I think they did a great job. You know, it's a lot of money in this building. Oh, I think it's going to be a trendsetter, yes. I don't think anybody's going to settle for boxes anymore. <laughs> Today, Humana officials admitted there is something too big for them to handle. That was the size of today's dedication crowd. The crowd was so large that no guided tours of the entire building were given. But Humana says later this summer, the public will be invited to see the whole building. Melissa Swan, Action 11 News.